there I said I bought you something rare And I left it under Claire So now she's coming up the stairs So I'm pulling up a chair I could eat that girl for If it's one thing that I think Bonnaroo did for me this year, it is show me how truly magical and special it is to be a Tennessee girl. I remember growing up, I tried so hard to rush my Tennessee experience because I hated it. I hated being from a small town that's 30 minutes south of Nashville. I hated that everybody knew my business, that you just knew everybody. I hated that Nashville never really felt like home. Tennessee never really felt like home. And maybe it's because this is the most sober that I had ever been at a festival. I think I smoked maybe one out of the four days. I truly, genuinely, wholeheartedly embraced Tennessee for what it is and the magic that it has to offer. Never in my life have I ever felt that amount of gratitude and appreciation for my home state. It was so powerful that I was even contemplating leaving my Atlanta life and moving back home. And to this day, I can see myself maybe buying a house in Nashville even, but probably on some water. You know, I'm still, 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 still heavily in love with the water. Bonnaroo was great. My favorite set of the week was T-Pain without a doubt. And it felt amazing to finally revel in my inner child energy. I feel like that is something that had been missing from my life, especially since I've been to Atlanta. I think I've only been to two or three shows since I've been here when I was used to going to a show like every weekend or every other weekend and I just felt like a really big part of me was missing and I found all those parts of me at Bonnaroo. <laughs> Bonnaroo just has my heart forever and I think this is definitely one of those fests that no matter what the lineup is, I will be there. I will come home to this fest because it is just so beautiful. It's so magical. The people I met were amazing and though it was so hot, it's definitely the hottest year that it has been since I've been attending Bonnaroo. I loved it. Like even though I felt so uncomfortable, I was just like, yeah, this is my state. It gets hot here. True to this. Well, you might be new to this. And I just loved every bit of it.
had so many amazing conversations with people. I danced with <laughs> a thousand of my closest friends. It was just something that I feel like being in Tennessee, I had taken for granted. And a few years ago, I thought that I wanted to pursue music. And I had a friend who I shared some music with and she just completely shot me down. Needless to say, her and I are not friends anymore. And I have, through Bonnaroo, refound my love and my passion for music. And it's inspired me to get back to my roots, needless to say. I think the beauty in music festivals is that it is always inspiring you and trying to push you and lead you towards a world of creativity. And I think you just have to be open to accepting that and open to this could be your new normal. Bonnaroo can truly be exactly what you want to make it. And I think that also stems from people who are into manifestation. If you are subconsciously being like, oh, I hate this festival, it's so hot, and blah, 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 and all these negative experiences, you're only going to notice the negative experiences. And Bonnaroo is not for everybody. A lot of people don't like the really big festivals. A lot of people don't like spending the money unless they absolutely love the lineup. And every feeling that you feel is valid. But for me, Bonnaroo just created this sense of home and unity and creativity and love and passion and everything that I love and inspire to have more of in my life. And I think that it's a perfect, perfect, perfect first festival it's quite large but i think that it definitely it definitely 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 has earned its title of just being one of the best festivals in the south if not the best festival in the south it's just uh, i could go on and on about my love for bonnaroo and my experience and how much this festival inspired me but i feel like the magic is something you won't understand until you show up yourself and you see it yourself and you just just feel the love and the connectedness and I'm so happy that I recorded this as a little visual diary because whenever I am missing Bonnaroo I can always look back and think about how much growth I experienced at the fest Think about all the new faces that I saw, all the people that I met, all the love that was shared. And honestly, I could see myself going to Bonnaroo alone. That it was just so easy to talk to people and make friends and everybody was just so eager to be together and listen to music together and dance together, explore together and just really into creating that sense of togetherness. And I feel like after COVID, people are a little bit more hesitant and I just want you to know that you can absolutely inspire community at any fest you go to just by speaking to somebody and that is definitely magic you need to bring home with you. When you come home from a fest, obviously your serotonin might be depleted if you are partaking in any party favors. But more so, that love you felt, that joy you felt, that creativity you felt is something you need to bring with you everywhere you go. Everywhere. You need to learn how to open up to new experiences, know that your life is deserving of so much joy, and that you can create joy anywhere you are at with whatever you got. So if you're thinking about going to Bonnaroo, I highly suggest it. And if you see me, don't be afraid to come up and say hi. Let's dance together, hug, let's talk about life, and let's just enjoy this moment that we have together.
just came here to the party for the drugs I'm too busy, don't 